Oh, this is Kingsport Beach. You can see the water is actually comes up to that wet line. Uh, it's come up even further. Almost, uh, you see that bonfire and that bird. Uh, water's come up to there. And across the pond, you have uh, Wolfville and uh, Stars Point. And in about six hours, this will this will be completely empty. Just out in the distance, you'll see um, see the the ocean. This is the minus basin right here. And if you loop around, you see that dirt, and you go around the corner, you'll uh, you'll actually connect up with the Bay of Fun Day and Cape Split and and whatnot, and then you can. Uh, See the New Brunswick side and and uh, out down through into uh, into Maine. Oh well, yeah, beautiful Nova Scotia, highest tides in the world. Should be one of the uh, seven world wonders. And just up in behind those uh, those trees up there is the op the osteopathy clinic that I was uh, was telling you about and you're you're far away she doesn't look dirty but when you get up close you can see some some dirt on the old 125. fishing it's a great place to come visit uh, not not just Kingsport but uh, Nova Scotia I mean we have such diverse uh, culture actually you can see you can see Acadia University across the pond that uh, that tower that's one of uh, the residences there in uh, on the Acadia campus. ice cream shop there back in the 1800s Kingsport uh, was prominently uh, in the work of ship construction and here's some of uh, the ships produced In 1891, the Canada, the second largest wooden hauled ship in Canada at the time, was built at Kingsport. 5,000 people attended the launching. The last ship to be built at Kingsport was the two-mast schooner F.B. Green, launched in 1929. In 1936, wild ponies brought 
by ship from Sable Island were landed at the wharf and loaded on trucks and taken to various destinations. Freight was bought, brought uh, from St. John by boat, unloaded at Kingsport, and carried by railway to Kenville. The, war the wharf experienced much damage during the hurricane during Hurricane Edna in 1954, another storm in 1976 demolished the wharf. A lot of history here, guys. Here's the train right here. The Blueberry Special. And here we are right here. We came through Canning. right here and there's Stars Point and here's Wolfville uh, like I said right across the the water a lot of history this is the heart uh, of Acadia the the uh, French Acadians uh, settled in this this area uh, Wolfville Grand Pre and, uh, and then of course the the English English took over um, so yeah, if any anywhere around the world, and uh, uh, this would be a great destination. Not that anybody's paying me to uh, to say anything great about Nova Scotia and and the Annapolis Valley, but uh, it certainly is one of the most beautiful uh, places that I have ever been in in the world. Uh, I am biased. Uh, I've hit, lived here. Uh, the majority of my life, um, but I've been all over North America, and uh, this this is definitely home. This is this is an amazing little area here, tucked away.